Hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another Terraria video and in this video We are still in the Inferno mod and we are taking down my favorite boss in any video game ever The Devourer of Gods and if you guys didn't see the last video you would have gotten a pretty good sneak Oh, they all spawned hearts. What the heck? Interesting <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's, the that's really good what? Okay so, yeah, if you didn't see the last video, we got absolutely destroyed by the Devourer of Gods. And hopefully, in this video, we're going to be destroying him. So, this video is going to start off with, like, a montage of us making progress. It's not going to be, like, a dying montage, but it'll just be us, like, gradually making our way forward. And if I ever beat it, then that will happen. Yes, I'll, I'll put that in the video. And you'll know we beat it because I uploaded this video. And then also, we will craft the upgrades afterwards. So we can continue on throughout the playthrough. But yeah, um, I guess just stick around. Grab yourself a nice glass of Coca-Cola. This video is not sponsored by it, but I wish it was. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just get right into this. And we're going to try with heart lanterns now. This is how we get max hearts, because they're going to always be spawning hearts. Yeah, that's true. Wuffy, wuffy. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. This is gonna be one long download for you. Oh, you don't you don't need to record still. Oh. Okay. Ow! Oh! oh my gosh, I figured it out. Did you? So when he dashes at you, like run away, and then you almost have to like di go diagonal and dash, and then pull back. It's it's very hard to do though. No, I almost had it. I just accidentally dashed again. I know how to get it. I don't know how to like start off like that though. Oh my god! He, he comes out of nowhere. I didn't get it. No, I got it. I know the strat. I know the strat. Good, good. good. I'll explain it after after this attempt. <laughs> okay, I'm really good at getting this every time now. 142 health percent health. <laughs> oh, oh, I was not paying attention. He's attacking me. Okay, I got it This fight is insane. The fact that we haven't even got to the second phase yet is crazy. Oh uh -oh, Next phase crazy. that took so long. Oh No, he's broken on my side. Oh No, oh no Oh no uh, I think I think we have the glitch is he attacking? Wait, he's- Oh! Whoa, I just took damage from something. He was- Can you see him? I can't see him. No, he's- he's about to spawn again. What the heck? Oh, is it that- is it that phase? Well, it was supposed to, but he didn't spawn. Oh, okay, it's- it's happening, it's happening. Next phase. No, he's still broken, but like, I can see him now, but- Oh, barely. he's not broken for- oh, actually, yeah, he is broken. Oh. Me. No, he's not broken anymore. I wonder if we can get that loop phase. I wonder if we can get that loop attack or loop glitch in this phase. I doesn't look like it. He turns oh, really sharp. So many. He does. I think you need to. I died. No. Oh, you died too. I didn't even know you died. Ah. Oh. Oh yeah, these do way more damage. I'm doing like double the DPS right now. That's crazy. Oh really? Dang it, I lost my adrenaline. Ah! Oh. I wish there was a way to like practice specific phases of it. Like they should do like a practice mode like Geometry Dash where you can go to a spot, but like if you beat it, you don't technically beat it, you know? What the heck just happened? Oh, what the heck? Okay, okay, so that that's an attack, okay. More hearts are spawning. When in doubt, <laughs> abuse hearts. Eight seconds, come on. Let me come back. No, oh, he predicted my dash. Two seconds. No, I died. Come on, we're at 5%. Oh, oh. We're five freaking percent. Come on. <laughs> We've died so many times. Oh, oh. You should be dead. Yes! 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 
Please. What? That was. He's still attacking though. He is. I cannot. Dude, tell this what is going crazy. on? What the seizure? Dude, I'm so confused. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. There is no tread. It just. It's just gone. It, there's no way it's not counting that as we beat it. It did not say that we beat it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I kind of. I kind of want to just beat it solo. I think that's what. I don't want to. I don't want to switch it to regular calamity. All right, just because I know you guys will be looking for an update, I've kind of like come across a strategy that I think might work. This is my setup. I know it's super weird. However, it prioritizes movement speed and flight time over anything. Um, and I'll show you guys why that's going to be important. But I doubt I'll be able to commentate over this. But essentially, the strat right now is to fly up or down and just tank him back and forth. Um, this works really well in the first phase, and it's not using any kind of like exploit. Not that I have anything against that at this point. But the reason why it's so nice is for the second phase, it actually works also. I was having a very hard time finding a method that works for both phases, and this seems to do it. However, now that I'm distracted by talking, I'm taking a lot of damage. Um, that's why I have the Heart Lanterns, right? Um, I also can't really tell what's going on without the <laughs> without this map. This, I know it sucks not being able to like experience the background, but I need this. I, I can't see like where the boss is without it um and so i'm definitely gonna be using it for this recording so sorry about that but i need it man all right everybody well i had a successful live stream where a lot of you guys were able to tune in give me some tips and just watch me play the game um thanks to boat jp boathead and alphabad for your donations also i really do appreciate that and now we have a new setup here that I think is just going to be the best setup for the boss. And so I'm just going to keep giving it some goes. Um, because I think I've gotten pretty good at fighting it. And I actually have a chance at beating it now. But uh, this is my first fight today. So might go pretty bad. That was so dumb. Oh, I forgot. I, for I forgot how to do that. <laughs> oh, we're making progress. Forgot about this. Oh, I didn't equip my mount. No. What? I did that, no! Ah! Also guys, some of you requested that I get the Omega Blue armor because it greatly increases damage. Um, we'll have to see how good it is. I have a set bonus that allows me to have Abyssal Madness, which increases damage, crits chance, and te tentacle aggression uh, slash range because these tentacles can actually attack the boss, so. We'll see if this is any better. Um, Swoogle was able to beat this boss with this armor, so I have a feeling that this will probably be the way to go. But I did take quite a bit of a break in between these runs here, so we'll see how well I can do. Um, it will probably take a little bit to get into the swing of things. Also, we'll see how broken this is, but the Ceaseless Hunger Potion will allow me to essentially pick up life's, uh, life uh, heart thingies at unlimited range. So, we'll see. That might be, like, a little bit too OP, but I, I don't know. Dude, that one's hard. What? Oh, the frames are gonna kill me. Oh. 
Alright, I was just practicing and I'm gonna hate myself if I beat this because I was I was just able to do 100,000 damage per second because of my adrenaline and Omega Blue armor set bonus. So I'm actually on track to beating this and I'm gonna be so mad if I do because I didn't record the whole thing. But I guess we'll see um, what happens right now. <laughs> what? What? Why did it? Dude, I'm telling you, this fight is way too freaking inconsistent. Nice. <laughs> this fight freaking. I'm done. I dashed. Why did it include that in the freaking recording? Include that crap. Why does it freaking blurb? I don't even freaking care that I'm. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm so done with this fight! I dashed. Clip it. Holy lag, dude. Nice. Nice. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah, frick me. What the lag? No, why am I? <laughs> Come on. Dang, I thought it was ready for you. Nice. Nice, I dashed. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 I beat it. Okay. I what you guys may notice right now is my health is like instantly healing. Okay. Um, I, I don't even know. Let me <laughs> I'm gonna open my recordings folder really quick. My recorder my recording folder isn't even opening right now. I don't even know why. Um, so basically, okay, can can I see now? No, it's still not letting me. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Um, so here's what here's what's going on. This fight is dumb. I am so done fighting this. I am not fighting this again ever in this playthrough. I I I hate it pains me to say it. I hate this fight. Okay. I by the way, I beat it with this setup here. Um this is my setup. All things are warding. Um I use the Calamari's Lament. And here, let me turn off this uh let me turn on the music first and let me explain what is going on here. So, it, and I'll, I hopefully will remember to put this in the video, its AI was like broken. Not all the time. Sometimes I would be like, oh, the AI broke when it didn't actually break. It was just a skill issue for me. Um, but I promise you, sometimes the AI would actually break. Um, it would, I have a 3060 RTX graphics card in my computer. And somehow, is this turning off here? Is this, is this even turning off? Is that off? Is that off? Yes. Um, and somehow, the game would still just lag all the time. And those lag spikes would cost me the game when that's not even my fault. Like, I don't know what else to do about that. Sometimes, the boss would spawn in, spawn in when it shouldn't spawn in. It would uh, come out at an angle it shouldn't come out at. And those things that, like... Are not supposed to be happening can cost you the fight and after attempting this for literal like i don't even know I, I it's been days it's been so many days of me working i did not mean to spot it it's been so many days of me working on this and it's like you know what i'm just done so what i did was i set up like 50 heart lanterns to just always be uh giving off hearts and this is a calamity feature by the way so it's not like entirely bad there is something called the ceaseless hunger potion which picks up all items in the world so i bought a lot of ceaseless hunger potions and i just kept consuming those uh with the fargo soul mod so that way i was constantly picking up hearts so it is i'll, I'll admit like i'm not the best terraria player and that is kind of cheesing it i'll admit that but i just don't care i just don't care i gave it a lot I'm, I'm like not bad at this like you can see i'm able to do this um and even with talking i am like able to do this fight but i just i couldn't put up with the fact that i was losing to things that were completely out of my control multiple times and i was like you know what i'm done i just want to beat it now and i'm not gonna cheat i'll use in-game features but yeah i like I, I just don't know what to do so like here yeah so watch this watch this Oh, it didn't do it. See, it didn't do it that time. Most of the time, when that when that phase showed up, he would, like, all of a sudden just rocket across the map at me. And so, like, I was like, oh, do I need to dash or do I not need to dash? Because if you dash when you shouldn't dash, you just wasted a very, very valuable thing that you definitely should not have wasted. Um, right there, I dashed into it and still took damage. Why? That's an excellent question. I could not tell you. I don't know what's coming out here. Okay. I, I don't know. So, it's like... I beat it. Um, I don't even know if... Okay, I do have the treasure bag. Good. Oh, I did not mean to trash those. But it's like... Oh, wait. Those are an upgrade. Interesting. But it's like, yeah, I'm just done. Um, I know that you guys might be mad at me. I didn't cheat. I I will admit, um, if you guys think I cheesed it, I'll admit to that. But this fight, man, even... It's just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. So it's technically a Calamity way to beat this. Like, you can beat this with the Calamity mod using this setup. So it's like, I'm not gonna like be too butthurt about it because, oh my gosh, dude. It's like, I'm just, I'm just so done. Let's get Swoogle back in here and we'll, we'll go through this. Um, I think I talked about everything I need to talk about. All right, guys, after taking a little break, making dinner, I calmed down. Um, tonight is the, uh, Fortnite night, you know, <laughs> you know, when, uh, the OG map is coming back into Fortnite. So I'm going to be playing that, but while it's, uh, updating, I just thought, you know what, let's craft some upgrades. And we'll actually open the treasure bag here to see what we got. Oh, so we got the Cosmic Discharge first try. And if you guys don't know what this is, well, now you do. This thing is really, really good. And I believe it's actually one of the rarer draw. 1,000 Cosmolite? 
<laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad that they did that because holy cow um, I yeah, I did not want to fight that again And I will not fight that again until at least like I beat the game or something um, we Got some platinum. We got the nebulous core summons a floating nebula star. Oh wait I know what this does um, you will survive an attack that would have killed you and be healed 100 HP 90 second cooldown So yeah, this thing is pretty good um, But I don't know we'll have to see like what accessories I actually want but that is a, a really good one um, we also got the Excelsius, another uh, really iconic sword that looks like was actually changed um, because I believe that it used to... Oh, no, 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 no. It does have... It just it just doesn't have wall break. That's what's going on there. Okay, so yeah, um, really, really cool sword. Um, we also got the Staff of the Mech Worm. This is the summon weapon that summons a mini of Devourer of Gods, and I am 100% going to be using this thing. Um, and actually, I'll test it out against this uh, target dummy here so we can see what it does. So yeah, it just attacks super fast and also shoots late. Oh, dude, this thing is so freaking sick. Oh, yeah, th that is amazing. I'm definitely going to be using that. Um, in fact, this would actually probably make the Devour of Gods, like, extremely easy because of the piercing. Um, this is actually a material, so I wonder what it's a material for. Um, Apothesis. Uh, well, obviously, this is endgame. Two staff of the... That's a weird... Um, and it's a magic weapon, too. Okay, well, I won't need to be making that. But yeah, so we got a lot of gear to make, um, but I'll make sure to like put a list. I'll, I'll do a list really quick so that way I'm not all over the place when crafting. All right, so actually before I can make upgrades, I have to redo the pumpkin moon, frost moon, and solar eclipse. So I am going to do that really quick. Um, maybe off camera, I'll see if there's actually anything that's changed. Um, and if there is, I'll tune you guys in. Well, guys, before I can make anything here, I have to craft this cosmic anvil. That allows me to start making all the end game upgrades. And I should be able to craft everything that the wiki recommends I make. So let's start start going down the list. The first one here is called the Corvid Harbinger Staff. And it summons a powerful raven, which teleports and dashes. And I don't know why I'm having a very hard time speaking right now. The next one is the Cosmic Viper Engine. So let me see if I can make that. There we go. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be like the plague uh, thingy. Summons a cosmic gunship to shoot down your foes. Interesting. Okay, that'll probably be pretty good. The next one is the Endo Hydra Staff, which is an upgrade to the Ice Hydra Staff. And what you guys will notice is that a lot of these are just direct upgrades to weapons that already exist. Including the next one, which I don't actually... Looks like it's Seiros. Seiro... Oh, I can't make this one because... I, for some reason, don't have Sirius. Oh, I found it. It was just in my piggy bank. Okay. All right, but I can now craft the Saro, Saros, Saros Possession. <laughs> I don't even know. And next up, we should be able to craft the armor set. Um, it's called the Silva. Not Silver, but Silva Armor. Um, so I guess let's make the uh, Silva Armor, which I believe is the body, maybe? Um, and then we're looking for the summon, which is the, uh, the hood, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we also want the pants, of course. And then we can also make the wings. And we're gonna make the wings. We'll make the, uh, Elysian Tracers, too. But just wanna have the wings also. Next up, we have a lot to make. I know, a lot. Dark Sun Ring. Um, yeah, this is a pretty cool accessory. 12% increase to damage. Uh, two max minions. Two HP life regen in the day. And then 20 defense at night. And then also a stat for Eclipse, too. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll definitely make this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to fill up my inventory here. Um, next up is the Nucleogenesis. However, I think I need to put uh, the Status' Curse in the inventory thing before I can make that. So we'll do that. And then, um, not the Status', yeah, the Nucleogenesis. That's what I'm trying to make. Um, oh, looks like I can't make that. I am missing a very important accessory here. I'm missing this. I think I might have thrown it away on accident at some point, which is what I was afraid of. All right, I can now make another one of these, which means now I should be able to make the Nucleogenesis. Yes, we can. Increases max minions by four. Grants immunity to Shadow Flame and Irradiated. 15% increased summon damage and uh, increased minion knockback. I get a variety of debuffs and I, minions spawn spark, damaging sparks on enemy hits. Um, so this, I mean, it's good, yeah, but I, I wonder if it's going to be nearly as good as the accessories we already have. Next up is the Asgardians Aegis, Aegis, right? Uh, which is an upgrade to pretty much like all the shield items, you know, the dash shield items. Um, except this one just might be a little bit better. However, I'm assuming like I still have a very fast dash. 
Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> the next one is the Core of the Blood God, which uh, boosts max HP by 15%. I get more effective healing potions. I uh, Enemies' contact damage is halved. And when I take contact damage, it has a 20 second cooldown, but that's still pretty good. Again though, don't know if it's as, that's as good as what I'm going to have here. The final thing I can make here is the Elysian Tracers, which um, I don't know. These aren't the final uh, upgrade to the boots, right? Um, no, the Seraph Tracers are. But yeah, these are just essentially a really, really good movement accessory. Um, so yeah, I have way, way better movement. Um, however, I'm not gonna lie, I think I might go with the Tarragon Wings, um, because I get more speed just as far as flying goes, and I have a feeling I'll spend way more time in the air than on the ground anyways, so <laughs> I think I'll probably use that. Also, I think I definitely want the Dark Sun Ring, and then I also definitely want the Nucleogenesis, and I'll probably use that for the, uh, Absorber. The Absorber is very good, but so is everything else I have. And then for now, I think I'll also uh, swap the Day Effect Amulet for the um, Dark Sun Ring. And I know I can't pronounce like anything right right now, and I'm not sure why. So let's also compare armories really quick. So Staff of the Mech Worm does 236 damage. My defense is 172. If I swap over, my defense goes up to 197, and this goes up to 299. And then my set bonus... 65% uh, increased summon damage. Um, summons an ancient leaf prism to blast your enemies with life energy. Um, you can't really see it, but it is there above my character. Um, all projectiles spawn healing leaf orbs. Ooh, max run speed boosted by 5%. You are reduced to one h. If you are reduced to one HP, you will not die uh, for eight seconds. Wow. Okay, this is definitely, definitely very, very good armor. So, I know I said I didn't want to fight Devourer of Gods again, however, um, I think it'd be kind of cool to test out all our new equipment against the boss. Um, however, let's see what we have here. So, the Harbinger Staff. Um, this is the powerful Raven thing. Um, it is small. I don't know where it just went. There it is. It's basically just a better Raven, but, um, I mean, that's good, but, I mean, come on. Who, who doesn't want to pet Devourer of Gods? Uh, Viper Engine. Oh, yo, it functions like the, the rainbow crystal thingy. That's so cool. Um, yeah, this is the, uh, like, the gunship one. Um, ooh, you can definitely have a lot of those. Uh, let's find some enemies to test it out against. Or I guess I can just test it out against, uh, the target dummy, of course. Um, oh, it's pretty slow. I feel like you definitely need fast-firing stuff at this stage of the game, so I don't know. Um, the Endo Hydra Staff is a sen- It's not a sentry. Wait, is it a sentry? Um. Uh. Oh, it's not. It's a summon. Oh. It does quite a bit of damage. If this pierces, this might be really good for Devourer of Gods. The final one, I think, is the uh, Saros Possession. But this is just a uh, summon that stays around me. Oh, and it's just another attacking thing. Okay, um, so unfortunately, I feel like this is just never any good. <laughs> I mean, it might be good now. I mean, eight minion slots? Are you kidding me? Heck no. Yeah, I don't think that's very good. Um, just eight minion slots? That's just way too many. All right, guys, so don't worry. I'm definitely not expecting to beat this. However, I definitely do want to try the mech worm against the Devourer of Gods. Um, and also, I will just say, I burned my fingers while cooking dinner, so, um, dashing might be a little bit awkward for me right now, um, but I guess we'll just kind of have to see. So, it actually, it does damage, that's for sure. Does it do a lot of damage? I don't know. But I will just say, my movement speed is insane. Like, I'm way too fast, I think. Like, I'm not used to it. <laughs> um, but it definitely does seem to be good. I think really quick. While this is happening, I gotta do this. Where is it? Mechworm. Um, let's try... I wanna try the Hydra. Oh, no, 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 Dash. Oh, I didn't do it. Uh, how good is this? Oh, gosh, I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, these weapons are all really good. Cool. <laughs> I'm still gonna die, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video there. We made a lot of really cool upgrades. And, yeah, next episode, we'll get Swoogle back in here. But just because this boss fight is so important, so hard, and, uh broken i had to do it solo um but yeah uh, thank you guys all for watching hopefully you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe for the next part and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace